Hello summoners, welcome back to another damage comparison video. This one is going to be between Ghost and Ghost with Odin's pre-fight. So uh, on papers, it's supposed to be a plus 45% attack for Ghost with Odin pre-fights because of her synergy with Ant-Man and what it says basically is plus 15% attack on every buff on Ghost and Odin's pre-fight you can apply 3 buffs permanently through, uh, like for the rest of the quest and, um, and that's pretty cool in stuff like incursions where you can just apply the buffs and then you can just in the next room take him out so that, that should work out really good but you know I don't think it's a huge difference as you're going to see here like it's definitely a difference but in regular quests where uh, like unless you're going for a legends run I don't think people are going to bring in Odin unless the buff is really good because they are uh, like earlier you could stack multiple Odins on a team and you know get a lot more buffs and the synergy here doesn't say unique buff so even then that would have increased the damage even more and she already has really really good damage to begin with so as you can see here uh, of course Ghost is a character who I wouldn't say she relies on RNG because she doesn't but her damage it can vary a lot from fight to fight because of how uh, like the RNG on the furies and cruelties uh, but as you can see like we are basically going for the same play style in both the clips here and of course the AI could be a little bit different it's not 100% side effect but it should give you a fair idea of uh, like we are basically running the same synergy team the same mastery setup and we don't have any boost active so this is what a 565 ghost with suicide masteries would look with and without odin uh, and we are also going for a similar amount of heavy attacks like whenever we're baiting a special one i'm trying to go for a heavy uh, sometimes i just go in naturally depending on how many buffs i have and this is a sick 200 go so we are getting a lot of power ones uh, in the with odin fight at the end we are going to push ourselves to sp3 because how much power we're getting from each phase uh, so yeah th that took a little bit extra time but in the end you're going to see like the final difference between the two is not even going to be of like it's going to be less than a minute which um, like do let me know if you think that's worth bringing in odin uh, because in incursions yeah you can swap him out but in most stuff you can't and him by himself he's not that great of a character i wouldn't say he's a dud uh, he can definitely do some fights here and there in a quest but then we have stuff like alliance quest alliance war where ghost is very frequently used and then like personally there are times where i couldn't even bring wars there even though that's a really good synergy or hood where you can just tank specials and stuff uh, because you have to bring in limited like you just have three slots and odin while it's a good like, it's a noticeable difference here you're going to see like almost a minute but I don't think it's worth that extra slot at least in my opinion if you're doing a legends run then it would be pretty huge i imagine like uh, in later act 7 content if you're going for uh, like the mythic run let's say i don't even know what it's called because uh, let's be honest i'm never I, I haven't even done any legends run uh, but anyways now we're gonna jump into realm of legends and here you're going to see a pretty big difference in the number of hits and the main reason i think is that i'm not going to go for heavy attacks at all i'm going to play normally and to be honest like heavy attacks are cool but when i'm using her in stuff like lance war i rarely go for them uh, i just usually just go for these spe big special tools and uh, here i think there is definitely a pretty big difference I again the cruelty rng the fury rng it's definitely there although like right now because we're not going for heavy attacks the fury uh, thing isn't really coming to play also i didn't mention but the aptitude buff actually it does increase the potency of your fury effects as well so uh, it's not huge because we already hit so hard but uh, definitely noticeable and here you can see like 13,000 mediums there whereas ghost without odin let's see here uh, 12,000 so yeah 2,000 difference on every single medium attack that kind of adds up and you can see like she is already done whereas uh, without the wooden pre-fight again it's not going to be a huge difference in time but 47 hits and I think without 
pre-fight it will take a 70 -ish, some uh, 70 something head now fair disclaimer i'm not the best ghost player in the game actually i'm a little bit rusty with her i haven't used her in a while because i haven't been running suicide masteries often uh, lately but that's gonna do it for this one thanks for watching have a nice day subscribe to the channel for more content like this video share with your lines stay safe and bye bye have a good one